Hello YouTube. So today I picked up some rather interesting stuff from the thrift shop. Uh, this is an old uh, telephone uh, dial, and over here I got a, a more fancy one. This is actually something you could um, replace the original with. So, but for some reason um, they sold both there. So that's uh, that's interesting. And I'm not sure how this one works, it probably uh, emulates the signals coming from this, uh, this old, uh, old one here. But yeah, I will look in this uh, into this one later. At the moment I have it hooked up to a power supply uh, with some uh, pull-up resistors uh, to these wires that go in the, uh, in the dial over here. And uh, yeah, create some pretty interesting patterns. So let's just put it out of single mode and let's start to. And as you can see, uh, it generates some pulses. So uh, let's hold two down. Okay, now I dialed two when I release it, both lines start. Um, well, the bottom line stays low until it uh, stops turning. So whenever it is not in the rest uh, position, it stays low. Uh, and the top line will, uh, when I release this uh, dial, it will start pulsing. So it pulses one, uh, one pulse for every uh, digit it, um, it sees. So, like that. And I'm not sure what happens if you. Uh, let's see. No, I'm. No, that will just uh, down on another number. Uh, I was gonna say if you. Like. Oh, that's a bit awkward. Uh, if you do it like not all the way, then it will just dial the number that got uh, to this uh, to this uh, stop thing. I don't know what you call this stuff, I'm not that old. <laughs> so yeah, uh, and as you can see let's let's have four. Okay. That's four pulses right there. So, um, well, what am I gonna do with this? Well, I was thinking about using it as an input device for my 8-bit computer to make it a bit more um, well, non-generic. And I haven't seen a lot of computers that use this stuff. Uh, I have seen um, like the really old, big, uh, uh, clunky computers that were built in the 70s. Uh, no, early 60s maybe. Um, they use these for uh, pulse, pulse generators and stuff. And sequencers and uh, that kind of jazz. But... Uh, not ob obviously not with these um, with these uh, knobs on them but yeah um, really interesting stuff so of course you have to debounce this it's probably gonna be debouncing nightmare um, but we'll see what we can do and this is another neat little trick you can take this part off and you can change whatever is written on there so people used to write phone numbers on there to uh, well for emergency services and stuff and I'm gonna customize this thing so I'm not sure what to put on this maybe the name of the computer or my name or I don't know some crazy logo so yeah and of course this one's really interesting and also I'm not sure how you power this um, what kind of voltage it takes it over here I see some kind of well I don't know maybe it's a rectifier but a bridge rectifier so that would suggest that it takes AC and some kind of choke maybe I don't know um, over there you got a crystal and some IC that is probably custom uh, 
let's see and our other board which is just for for the uh, switches right there so yeah this interesting stuff